Hey, I've dropped in today to DV247 to talk about Steinberg's very new release, um, Cubase 7.5. So we've got a nice sneak preview here with all the new features. We've got loads of new instruments, new effects, uh, new workflow enhancements. Um, you can check out the links on the page and uh, we'll run you through some of the new features. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So for the past few versions, you will have noticed that our Steinberg's been increasing the amount of VST content, but also the amount of VST instruments. And we're owned by Yamaha now, so um, we have been for some time. So we, we're starting to see the integration of both developers sitting down and talking to each other and swapping ideas. And one of these new ideas is um, Groove Agent SE4. So Groove Agent will be familiar to a lot of people. They will have seen the old interface, but you can see this, this user interface has been completely overhauled. Um, uh, we've still got the pads on the left hand side, so still the MPC bass player, and you can see we've got up to eight different banks of pads which we can fill. Um, we've got great content, so a lot of new content's been added by Alan Morgan, who's done Nine Inch Nails, Taylor Swift, and loads of other highly successful acts. Um, but it, the more interesting part of Groove Agent is when we move to the right hand side and the ability we have to manipulate and control and I guess uh, change different sounds that we've we've um, brought in. So th at the moment I've got this Smooth Tech Grooves kit in here. So I can go through the pads, I can use my mouse. If I want I can move to the keyboard. So I've got a keyboard beside me here, I'm playing the keyboard. Um, I can use the old school way of actually recording something in if I want. So let's just turn this on with the click track. So just something really simple. Um, now if we go back to it, we can easily quantize that. Um, let's just check it out. Might need to come down to 16th. Let's just go back to 16th and quantize it. There we go. Okay. So I've just recorded something really simple there. Even if we take one bar of it and open it up, you can see we've got the old school key editor. Another way of viewing it, this is new with the integration between Groove Agent SE4 and the, the project window, is to turn on drum map from the instrument and immediately we've got the old school drum map which is um, aligned in terms of instruments uh, directly into Groove Agent SE4. So that's new. And then if we want, we can actually go through and see what we've, we've entered. We can enter notes ourselves just by clicking on the drumstick and then entering, in, entering them in there. Okay, so that's one way of creating music. We can record and we can enter it straight into the, um, the drum editor. But let's have a, a look at another way we can create music, oh sorry, create beats inside of Groove Agent SE4. I'm just going to go to the beat designer, grab this guy, and now you can see we've got a now I'm click going in the background. So you get the picture. I can go in, I can start drawing them on a grid-based system. And on the left-hand side, of course, the instruments will all relate to um, Groove Agent. So everything's drag and drop. So I can pick up on this and now drag and drop it straight over into Groove Agent 1. And even if I open it again, sorry, let me just get rid of this guy. If I open it again, you can see that once again, it shows up on my traditional um, drum editor. So that's pretty cool. That's how we can actually make beats, I guess, ourselves. Let me show you another really interesting way of making beats now in Groove Agent. So I'm going to click on this once again. I've got my pads on the left hand side, but notice this new pattern button down here. So I'm going to click on pattern and you can see we get these different colored pads, all of which are configurable. We can change the, uh, the colors. So as I come through, you can see I've got different samples of different components of this main loop here. So what I can now do is pick up on this loop, if I want to start using it directly in the, in the project window, and I can just copy and paste this loop. Now that this loop's copied and pasted, if I want, I can highlight them all, and start looping them. The other cool thing is, let's say I want to edit one of these, so I've got my drumstick here, maybe I want some sound effects, so let's throw this guy in here. So, so if I want that pattern as it's edited, I can just pick up on that and now drag it back to the pad itself. And that's there. 
The other thing is I've now got this library of patterns. So if I click on this and come down through Beat Agent, there's loads and loads of different patterns and different styles. And these are all MIDI files. So these can all be dragged and dropped in between Groove Agent SE4 and the actual project window. So in much the same way as we can drag files from Beat Designer straight out into the, the project window and start working with them. Um, so we can use the tracks, I guess the patterns that have come with Groove Agent SE4, or we can create our own, we can drag them in. Now, another really cool thing about Groove Agent is we can assign any MIDI instrument to it. That's always been the case, but now we can have multiple MIDI assignments coming into Cubase and into these track instruments here. So this might be, I guess a set of pads that you've, you've bought in a music store. So um, it could be an MPC player, it could be an MPC controller, any of these kind of things will control Groove Agent SE4 and only control it whilst you can still have other MIDI configurations coming in to control, say, other synth sounds. Um, so that's really handy in terms of, I guess, you know, being able to route different instruments into it. The same way we can route instruments into it, every one of these pads is assignable to an individual output. So we can have the kick in its own channel being represented inside of the Cubase mixer, which means we can apply a compressor or a you know, reverb or something like that over the top of it. So I've covered the pads. I've covered creating music or creating beats inside a Groove Agent SE4. Um, but one of the cool things has been able to manipulate sound. So let's say we don't actually want to work with the content that's already in it. We can go to the media bay, find a kick drum or find a sample and drag and drop straight over from the media bay. It's very easy, so you can see there's a hi-hat, I just drag it straight in, and there's the hi-hat hi part. Um, so everything Cubase is drag and drop, but let's just go back to each individual sound and let me show you some of the filters. So I've got this snare here. Um, I can go and change the pitch of the snare if I want, or if maybe you want a bit more depth in the kick, let's drop that kick down. So every main instrument has some sort of tuning function on it, but the filters are what's, I guess, where Groove Agent SE4 really comes into its own. So let's go and click on some of these filters and add a bit of distortion over the top. Okay, and then if we want, we could change the envelope and then we can mix the envelope out in. Even if we wanted to, we could go to the pitch and actually start drawing some pitch changes in here. And then turn that on and now we've got the pitch working for us. So um, there's five different types of filters in here. So you can see uh, there, and then over here, we've got loads of different options in terms of the filter shape. So I've just changed my filter there. Okay, and as I work through different filter shapes, you can see I can get different combinations of sounds. Okay, so we can change filters on each individual pad, um, but one of the coolest things is this new amp section. So if we go to, say, the snare, and we turn our auxiliary up, you can see we've got four auxiliary sends on each pad. So if I go to my mixer now, you can see my auxiliaries. If I wanna put a reverb over the first one, all I need to do is just come back to edit and turn my auxiliary up, go to my mixer. If I want to put a delay over the top of it, and you can see I've got the parameters down the bottom to edit that. Um, so loads of different uh, effects that we can use within the actual instrument. And as I said before, we can um, load effects in uh, to individual outputs inside the actual mix window itself. So Groove Agent SE4, you can manipulate tracks, you can create tracks in a number of different ways. You can use the tracks that we've got there. You can build your own library of tracks over in the main window here in the pattern bank. You can see I've got my user defined library there. Um, we can work with samples, drag and drop samples in, but more importantly, we can use it live um, to be triggering loops as we're using Cubase for a backing track. So that's Groove Agent SE4, loads of new changes and a fully fledged drum sampler included inside Cubase 7.5.